back in October, we went on a nature walk and we went by a tunnel and one of them saw something sticking out of the water and then I asked them, you know, what do you think it is? And they said an alligator. Where does he live? In the tunnel. They said he's hungry, so we started talking about what do they eat and stuff like that and it just kind of spurred on from there. They eat fish. I don't like fish. He's an alligator. Alligator? Yeah. He eats grapes. They also eat legs too. They eat legs? Yeah. Would they eat your legs? Yeah. Oh, that would be crazy. They decided they wanted to touch an alligator. Well, you know, we don't really have an alligator lying around, so we. I said, well, what could we do? instead of, since we don't have an alligator, and they said, we could make one. So that led us to the loose parts room, and we just started finding boxes. The box is brown, what do we need to do? We need to paint it. We ended up going back to the loose parts room, looking for eyes, looking for scales, looking for claws. They have claws. They dick babies. Tell me more. They keep that man their mouth. And once we got the alligator finished, we started wondering what's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator, which kind of brought the math into it because we measured. We took pieces of paper that we knew were a foot long and measured out how long an alligator and a crocodile is to see which one was longer. And then we set our friends, our friends lined up, and we know that it's five friends equals one crocodile and four friends equals one alligator. <laughs> it's an amazing place to work. And I, I love what I do. I love just watching them play and watching them learn. And who knows, they may, um, it may turn into something else and spark a whole new investigation. And I cannot wait to find out what that is.